yeah. Hey guys, it's She. I'm back today with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I transformed this cute little doggy into a table. Okay, no. But this table I got for $2.98 from a thrift store. Um, and the reason why I was able to get it for so cheap is because of this reason. Some of y'all at this point are probably like, oh, hell no, you should have left that table where it was. But I have a really simple and easy way to fix it using this wood glue. Wood glue. Lord, don't you hate when you can't get something to focus? Guys, this is wood glue by the company called Super Glue. And I got it from the Dollar Tree. I love this wood glue. Not only is it good for repairing furniture, but whenever you see like little flowers and things that I apply on my furniture, just know that I've used this glue and for only a dollar, it's super strong and sturdy. Plus it dries super fast. So it's definitely my go-to for all of my furniture projects. So next, what I'm going to do is just take like a paper towel and kind of clean up that excess mess. So this camera is like super out of focus right now and you can see why because it's focusing in on this dresser. My tripod is broken so I didn't realize until after <laughs> I went to go cut the camera off that it wasn't focused. But what I'm doing right now is just applying some chalk paint to the top of this table I was gonna wait until it was completely dried but time is of the essence guys weekends are very very busy for me and the beginning of this week I actually was a little bit depressed so I didn't work on as many pieces as I would have liked to so now I'm trying to compensate by working on multiple pieces at a time so you guys have seen me paint things a thousand times and each piece is a little bit different. So this table actually has like a lip or kind of like a rim that goes all the way around it. So what I had to do was take my brush and kind of brush in that crevice to make sure it was completely covered. You do not have to be a good painter as long as you have the right materials. And I am using chalk paint which I custom made. So guys, to make your own chalk paint, you just need a container, you'll need satin or flat paint, and then you'll also need this calcium carbonate powder. You can pick this up from Amazon. The link is down in the description box. So guys, it says add one to two cups of calcium carbonate, add four tablespoons of hot tap water, mix well to smooth paste, then you add in one quart of paint and mix well. Now I don't do that, I just kind of freestyle and do my own thing and the paint always turns out nice. But um, yeah, so I make my own chalk paint and then I also use the synthetic brushes that I got from Amazon. And what I love about them is that they aren't natural hair, so whenever you use a natural hair brush, the brush is shed and you can get little pieces of hair stuck in your paint. And with these synthetic brushes, not only does that not happen, but you also don't have to worry about brush strokes. So there's absolutely no brush strokes when you paint with synthetic brushes, as long as you're cleaning them on a regular basis. So for this piece, it took me about two coats of paint to achieve a nice smooth finish. Um, and I allowed the piece to dry for about an hour before I went ahead and recoated. So guys, it's the next morning. I was super, super tired. So now I'm applying wax to the top of this piece and discovering a tiny little hair at the same time. <laughs> if you've watched previous videos and you've seen me apply a transfer, they're super, super easy. So I really apologize for not including that footage. Um, but if you want to check out some of my other videos, you can see how we got this cool, beautiful French floral design. If you want to pick up this transfer for yourself, you can get it by clicking the link in my description box. It'll take you to my Amazon affiliate account and you can purchase this transfer for yourself. This is only a tiny portion of a transfer. I use a transfer by Redesign by Prima and the design that I'm using is called Rose Celebration. So right now I'm just applying 
a sealing wax by Valspar. This is my absolute favorite. It makes everything have a really nice smooth finish. I love that you actually get a lot of product for the price and then I also like how smoothly it applies. At first I was using a little bit of a harder sealing wax and I hated how strenuous it was to apply it especially to large pieces like this um, and I also use polycrylic which is a water-based top coat that you can use to seal furniture the thing I dislike about the polycrylic is that sometimes when you paint furniture white or any color any light color actually the polycrylic has the tendency to turn yellow so it sucks when you have this beautiful let's say this table and we've covered it in polycrylic and now parts of it have turned yellow so that's why I prefer to use this Valspar finishing wax because it does not do that so guys here is the final product can you believe that that little three dollar table turned out to be this gorgeous little beauty i currently have it listed on facebook marketplace and offer up for 65 dollars i took it over to the booth because i'm not in a rush to sell it i'm gonna wait and see if somebody will actually pay that so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if so give it a thumbs up comment down below if you like the way this turned out and if you like to see me do more furniture flips like this one, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye.